Hello, in this video, we are going to be looking at how our inventory holding and ordering costs uh, can be calculated uh, using this formula here. Uh, I will be assuming that we are using the economic order quantity amount from the famous EOQ square root formula. I have another video that goes into that in more depth, uh, but we will be using the EOQ formula. So we have a ordering or setup cost of $75, annual demand is 10,000 units, holding cost per unit is a dollar and a half. Now we are assuming two things here. One is that there is no quantity discount. The price is always the same and that is why we do not need to consider the cost of the item in our calculations. We are only looking at the holding cost and the ordering cost in this formula. Um, the holding cost is the order size divided by two times the holding cost per unit. And the ordering cost is the annual demand divided by the order size times the cost of placing the order. So um, the other assumption is that the holding cost per unit stays the same. Uh, it is common to consider the holding cost to be some percentage of the value of the item. That's not how we are doing it in this video. I will have another video where the holding cost is a function of the value of the item. Um, other times people will include the holding cost that includes the, the physical size of the item. We're also not doing that here. Okay, so let's jump in. So to calculate the EOQ, as you probably already know, uh, we take two times the annual demand, which is 10,000 units, times the setup or ordering cost of $75, and then we divide by the holding cost per unit of 150, and so we get an EOQ of 1,000 units. Okay, now we want to calculate the total cost as a function of this order size Q, 1,000 units. So we're going to say total cost as a function of this order size Q is 1,000 divided by two times the holding cost of 150 plus annual demand is 10,000 divided by the order size of 1,000 um, times the ordering or setup cost of $75. So now we just have to um, do the math here, 1,000 divided by two is 500, times one and a half gets us $750, and then 10,000 divided by 1,000 is 10, times 75 is also $750. So we get a total holding plus ordering cost of $1,500. And as we know from the EOQ, the holding and ordering costs should be perfectly balanced, and they are. They are both $750, and that's just one of the nice um, sort of side benefits, I guess, of the EOQ. Now, what, you may be asking yourself, what if I don't want to buy a thousand units? What if I have a good reason, or even if I don't have a good reason? Like, let's say that I want to think about buying 2,000 units at a time because maybe the whatever it is I'm buying, they just come in cases or lots of 2,000. What would my cost look like there? Well, we're gonna use the same formula, obviously, because this formula works for any order size. It's only for the EOQ where they come out nicely balanced like this. So for uh, order size of 2,000, um, we're gonna get total cost of 2,000 divided by two times the order cost, sorry, holding cost, of $1.50 plus 10,000 divided by 1,000, sorry, 2,000 times the uh, order cost of $75. So 2,000 divided by two is obviously 1,000 times one and a half is $1,500. And then 10,000 divided by 2,000 is five times 75 is um, 375. So total cost here, are 1,875. So the increase is 1,875 minus 1,500. So the increase is $375, which out of 1,500 is a 25% increase. So think about this. We were supposed to buy um, 1,000 units at a time 
and instead we bought 100% too much. We bought twice as much as we're supposed to. So we increased our order size by 100% and it only increased our ordering and holding costs by a total of 25%. So the EOQ is, is very forgiving and understanding in that way. So to recap here, we calculated the EOQ um, and then we calculated the holding cost for that order size Q and then the ordering cost for that order size Q. And then just for fun, we also used, used this same formula to calculate the ordering plus the holding cost for a different order size. I hope this has been helpful.